Okay, good afternoon folks, good afternoon. Hopefully uh, you guys are well. Let me just uh, update all there and we are good to go. Right, good afternoon. Here we are again. It's that time of the month. Uh, it is the first Friday of the month and, it is, and the screen has just hung there, hasn't it, for some reason. Uh, it has just hung. Let me just see what's going on there. We don't want that hanging, do we? There we go. That's a good start. Okay, well, the screens have just hung for some reason. Just bear with me a moment. I'll uh, get that sorted. Um, I don't know why they've hung. I've been overloading it for some reason, but there you go. Let's see how that goes now. Just have to quickly up uh, uh, reinstall that and we will uh, get going. So it's that time of the week again. It's uh, the non-farm payroll, basically where we uh, uh, we stream live the biggest event of the trading week. Um, why is it the biggest trading event of the week? Well, because as we all know, every time uh, the United States sneezes, the whole world catches a cold. And uh, of course, we're looking for. Um, uh, so camera break. Give me a second. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, let me have a look here. I'm just going to pull that camera down there instead today. Um, and that just proves to you that it's live. It's live, and here we are. All right, so yeah, that time of the week, um, basically where we come on and stream live. For those of you that are tuning in for the first time, uh, welcome. I also know we've got... Uh, a lot of uh, YouTube uh, people coming in as well, just for a bit of a bit of a look. That's a good start for you, for me anyway. Um, with a bit of a look, we don't normally have technical issues like that, do we? Um, Speckle, hi. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Richard. Uh, good afternoon uh, to um, PD Pips um, and JUK. Camera has stuck again. Well, looks there's all right now. Good afternoon, boss. Uh, says Foosh. Yeah, for those guys that are tuning in from YouTube, or oh, welcome. This is just a bit of an insight to what we do. Pretty much around the clock here at Forex Signals, we stream live, um, and uh, this is just a, a special event that we put on. So what I'm going to do now is basically just go through the importance of non-farm payroll, what we can expect. Um, uh, we'll stream the event live, um, and then after that, it's the main event that a lot of the members in the room wait for. It's the prize giveaway. Basically, we give away uh, $1,500 in cold, hard cash. Uh, which is always a well-attended um, event. It goes out three prizes. First of all, the top trade contributor for the month of uh, that's just gone. Uh, we give out um, $500 for the best room contributor, and then we give away the um, the uh, we give away the $500 in a random raffle as well. Okay, um, so I think. Um, uh, I think uh, that is coming through okay now. It should be coming through okay now. Um, no music? No music? Hopefully we're coming through okay. Sound is good, says Nicholas Bates. Okay, so this week's non-farm paper, I think it's quite an important one. Uh, quite an important one um, in light of what we've basically been seeing this week. For those of you that have been following the, uh, uh, the markets at all, uh, the US dollar, basically, this week, actually Monday, hit a two and a half year high um, across, across global currencies, of course, predominantly, of course, the euro uh, being the main active currency traded against the uh, against the uh, the US dollar. Uh, since then, we've had a bit of a data release out of the US in terms of ISM, it stands for Institute of Supply and Management. It's basically a forward looking indicator. It's a survey of all the um, manufacturing um, and non manufacturing business leaders. And those numbers have been a right shocker for the US market this week. So the um, so the uh, the stock market dropped, I think, 1,200 points from the highs of this week to the lows of this week. I think we've bounced a couple hundred points, uh, 500, 400 points now by the looks of things um, since, um, since, uh, since the low. But so these numbers are basically going to be quite keenly looked at in terms of, you know, is this just a temporary blip in manufacturing or is this actually something uh, more serious for the US economy? So that's why I think this number is more important than recent numbers. Recent, honestly, the last three non-farm payrolls that we've had have been pretty, pretty, uh, you know, pretty um, benign, really. Um, this one could be a little bit more significant because of that. The market's actually expecting today 
um, non-farm payroll of 145,000. That's 145,000 jobs added to the economy. Not a lot, comparing that um, the average running for the since Trump basically got elected was about 160,000. Um, um, average earnings are going for up 0.3 in unemployment, um, 3.7. Why is the unemployment such a big number? Because unemployment, if you know central banks around the world, they are mandated to control inflation. They look at inflation, they've got to move interest rates on the back of what um, inflation is doing. And this is like the early sign in an economy of how inflation is looking. If more people are employed, clearly, more people are spending money, more people are spending money, then up go prices and the central bank has to act. Um, so that's why we look at this uh, this sort of key data every every month. If we see a non-farm payroll today of up, say, over 200,000, um, that will basically alleviate some of the pressures that you've seen, the downward pressures you've seen on the US dollar this uh, uh, this um, uh, this week. Um, average earnings, if that comes in strong, up 0.4, and unemployment um, at around 3.6. Again, these are strong numbers. This will be a, like a sigh of relief for the US dollar, and I expect the US dollar to go stronger. As you see here on the screen, I say strong uh, strong data is good for the US dollar because it means there's upward pressure on interest rates. Um, I'll look on the charts in a moment to see exactly um, what um, you know, what we're looking at and so forth. It is about 10 minutes to go, says Richard, getting very excited. Um, weak data. Um, I think less than you know, 100,000, I would say, is going to be uh, on the side of you know, soft, weak data. OK, that I think this time out could be pretty uh, horrid for the US dollar, bearing in mind it's on the heels of what we've seen. Um, in the ISM surveys this week, non-manufacturing and manufacturing. If unemployment rises to 3.8, uh, again, this is going to be weak data and we will see um, the uh, the dollar under pressure. Average earnings drop, dropping below expectations of up 0.2. I think the average earnings is more likely to come in around that level, to be honest, although the market is expecting up 0.3. Um, I'm thinking there's going to be a bit of a downward pressure on that. So I'm expecting some negative votes. I'll tell you now, the way I see it is... Um, the markets are getting themselves a little bit concerned because of this ISM survey, surveys we've seen this week. The markets are getting themselves concerned. The stock market itself, um, you know, is getting, is getting concerned as well. So I expect bad data to be um, to be bad for the US dollar. And if I'm trading it to the downside, the US dollar, I'm more inclined to trade it against something that has more potential to go up like the Japanese yen. The Japanese yen at the moment, if you go to my momentum meter, for those that are in the room uh, with me every day, we talk about this every day. Um, this is the Japanese yen up here at the moment. The Japanese yen, this is the daily chart. This brown line here is the Japanese yen. That's been the strongest currency since basically this week um, because of what I've just said, the ISM surveys and, uh, and so forth. Stock markets have crashed. As you know, when stock markets crash, Money goes into safe haven currencies, the yen being the most um, the most significant one. It's a safe haven. It's a funding currency. So the stock markets are crashing. Yen is pushing up. So if the bond markets um, are going to push yields down, i.e. bonds are going up, um, as they are at the moment, because the stocks are going down, so bonds go up. That's normal the way it works. Bonds go up, yields go down, US dollar will follow. So if the numbers are weak, the US dollar will fall. And I think it's more likely to fall stronger against the Japanese yen than it is against the um, the other the other currencies. Um, if the numbers are um, strong for the US dollar, well, I would be more inclined to buy the dollar against the euro. OK, and being um, the reason being for that, we don't like these US ISM numbers. They've been awful. But if you look at what's been going on in the euro economy, the PMI data out of the eurozone this week, I think it was, I'm losing track of time. Uh, I think it was Monday. Um, or yeah, I think it was Monday. Um, the um, the PMI data, which is again, is a forward looking survey indicator. It predicts, it doesn't predict, but it surveys these big business leaders. They were horrid in the, uh, in the eurozone. Um, so the eurozone have got their own headwinds. So if the numbers are gonna be um, uh, good for the dollar, I'll be more inclined to buy the dollar um, against the euro, in which case you sell the euro dollar. Um, there's no option. You can't see me, says Nusvila. I can just, um, just I can see upcoming streams. Uh, refresh the page. Thanks, Max. See if you can handle uh, handle this uh, this inquiry. Um, 
Right, uh, so we are going to basically be looking at... Oh, but one thing I will say, guys, for those in the room uh, that took my trade signal yesterday, uh, we took this naked trade setup. Um, again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the trading setup, the rules of this strategy are in there in the trading lab. If you're only um, here for a while, then go and check it out while you're here. Um, this is the naked trading strategy. We took a trade yesterday in the... Um, in the Australian dollar against the US dollar, uh, we hit profit targets overnight. Um, take profit target one, I should say, um, up at um, 67.57. With the rules of this strategy, we move to break even on the second uh, tranche. We are at break even on this trade. Okay, so I've moved stops to break even. We're now going for take profit target to 68.50. And I'm running this trade over non-farm payroll. So that's basically um, a good trade. Remember, these naked setups are long term. They're bigger moves. Um, and I don't get freaked out by um, intraday fundamental news that's coming out. We get stopped out, we get stopped out, and you're just taking profits on half the trade. Anyway, so just to update you there, I'm running that one overnight over, over the numbers. You don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, so we're going to be looking at potentially at the uh, uh, selling the dollar against, um, sorry, buying the dollar, beg your pardon, selling the dollar against the yen. Here are my, um, here are my trading charts. Okay, and you've got the, um, we've got the, the, uh, the euro dollar coming in here as well. Uh, this is what I'm I need to put on my risk management tool. I just got a couple of seconds to put on a risk management tool. It was there a moment ago. For some reason, it's come off, I think, when I refreshed. Um, so let's just put on the risk management. I just have to blank the screen for a sec, otherwise I'll reveal my password. And we don't want to be doing that because everyone's going to be getting in um, to my uh, my account. And that is not good for us. Let me just uh, change this now. Okay, so this is the risk management tool. I'll say this now. I say this every month um, for those of you that join me only for this event. If you're not trading without a risk management tool, um, then I suggest you really seriously think about doing it because the trader that is not using risk management highly likely is, I would say, most probably not necessarily trading, more inclined to be uh, to be gambling. Um, so that uh, needs, to, I just need to load that up there now. Okay, for some reason it's stalling. Oh my God, how long have I got? I've got three minutes. Let me just put this up again. Let me just put this up again. Excuse me a sec. Okay, well, looks as though we will be trading with. There we go. Let's put in my username. Gosh. So we've got one minute to go for these numbers now. OK, well, that's not coming up for some reason. I've got to refresh my MT4, which I certainly can't do at this late stage. So here we are. I'm looking at the dollar yen um, and against the euro dollar. We just got about uh, 40 seconds to go. I will say this, though. Oh, here it comes up now. That's nice. <laughs> um, I will say this. Um, the stream is going to be, I would say, maybe 10 seconds delayed from real time. So if you're looking for the exact moment it comes out, look at the global news feed below here. Okay, so I'm just going to put on my pending orders. I'll have my uh, potential trades coming in here. Uh, turning on the indicator, switch to pending orders. Pending is the yellow. Okay, profit, ta profit target is the green. Right, here we go. 136,000 unemployment 3.5 percent our average early earnings flat rating month to month year and year two point well this is bang in line folks I mean this is bang in line um from the US well Canadian a deficit 0.96 billion it's going to repeat that's the US change in non-farm payrolls 136,000 with a prior vision of 168,000 the unemployment rate this is bang in line this is not really going to have a big move and because it's not going to have such a big move in terms of um in terms of the numbers 
Well, you're in your 2.9%. Uh, you may see, you may see the US dollar catch a bit of a bid here um, because the market was expecting some bad news. So I wouldn't be surprised to see the dollar grind higher on this. Okay, and I'm going to buy that against the euro and not against the uh, against the yen, as I mentioned. U.S. trade balance again was a deficit, fifty-four point nine billion dollars. Over in Canada, the international merchandise trade. So I would be surprised to see this trade lower. Harvest deficit of one point eight three eight billion. Just coming into this trend line, we got big support coming in here at um, uh, well, daily support coming in at one hundred nine, sort of sixty-five. Once we get through here, and I've got my um. Um, my next level to the downside at 109.25. Um, any more strength in this now? I would be a boy, sucks. <laughs> I would say, uh, any more strength in this? We're gonna see a, a bit of a selling opportunity creeping in here. Uh, looks as though it's coming back now. I want to see it bounce a little bit. Rather see this bounce up and uh, there we go. Dollar yen. So dollars pushing up now against the yen. I think this is going to be some short covering coming on in the uh, in the um, in this dollar. Dollar was getting a negative for the reasons I mentioned. You know, talking about this, uh, talking about this, um, you know, the bad data we saw this week. Yeah, it's just trading low now. It's going to come in back here down to test the one hundred six fifty. Uh, it didn't have the pullback really that I was looking for. Uh, it must be good for my so the dollars pushing up here. Not uh, good. Uh, yeah, so dollars pushing up now. This is short covering going on here, folks. I'm not going to snap into a trade here. You know that's the worst thing you want to be doing as a as a as a trader. Just uh, you know, seeing a candle like that, thinking I've missed the boat, and then trade, and then you get stopped out on the on the when it pulls back. So um, I'm not going to be uh, uh, flying into this if it pulls back up to you know to this zone. You know, it pulls back up down to the one oh sort of uh, oh no, sort of eighty or one oh nine eighty ninety level. We'll take a short trade, bit of a daily su daily support coming in here at the moment. It's going to think about it here. Um, it's going to think about it here. Uh, before it either breaks through or comes back up to test. If it comes back up here, I'll have a shorting opportunity. Wandam Waffle, almost fire sword, almost there. Uh, did I short the dollar yen? No, I didn't. Um, what's happening to my... Uh, to our, to our, this must be not good for the uh, Aussie, uh, Aussie trade. Okay, it hasn't moved very much. So we're still in the Aussie dollar. Naked trade. And just looking here at the the momentum meter. Again, this is the indicator that shows you the strength and weakness of all the different currencies. The Canadian dollar loves it. Canadian dollar likes it and is pushing up. So CAD and US dollar both strong on the back of these numbers. This is a lot this for example, this is the uh, Six, this is a one minute chart, so this is 60 minutes ago. They all started at zero. And you see in the last 60 minutes, this is the strength and weakness over the different currencies. You'll see that uh, the main, the main, um, uh, actually the main casualty has been in fact, the yen, the yen has actually been the worst performer on the uh, on the strength of this dollar, not the not the euro, the euro remained pretty flat. For now. But it won't take long before we get some more follow through, I don't think, into the euro dollar. In which case you could see potential uh, seeing this fall back. So it's broken that through now, that uh, support zone. Okay, double uh, double top on the way up. We expected it on the way up. Bounced off it on the way down. Just broken through. So this is a daily, 
This is a daily level we've broken through. And this could easily trade, trade on through now back down to... Well, I think your level you need to look at down here is 109.25. Okay, and this is the level that uh, we, uh, we well, we bounced off at 109.25 three or four times, which is, remember, it was a two and a half year high until we breached it early on in the week. Um, but 109.25 will be the next target to the downside. Um, but this is a bit of short covering coming on in the in the dollar at the moment. Cause those numbers weren't that bad, especially considering, I mean, they weren't great, were they? I mean, it's only because... I mean, 165,000, there's a slight revision, I think, of the uh, last month's numbers up at 168,000. Um, but the uh, it could have been a lot worse. If that had come in at, you know, the market was thinking about that coming in at below 100. And, um, you know, and uh, that would have basically um, been pretty, pretty disastrous for the dollar. But we haven't got there yet. I'm waiting for this to, um, this to pull back. If this gets back up to 109.80, I'll have, to, I'll, uh, I'll take a short. Just going to put the risk tool on it. Uh, maybe this is a quick edit for some reason. This platform is playing up today, but uh, we'll see. So I'm only going to be risking 0.5% on this account. My stops are going to be above this swing high, back up there at 110.10. Stops are above there and profit targets down there at um, well I really want to get uh, I really want to take profit around 109.25 so I'm going to have to move that stop in a bit on there depending order So 109.25 is the well, 109.28 actually is going to be the profit target. Okay, it stops above, and now I've done this. Um, so these are my and I hit pending order. Okay, I've got my I've got my um, uh, risk reward ratio. It's worked it out for me. It's worked out the lot size for me as well. It's given my maximum risk on this trade. I'm trading only a half percent on this account. So click allow order trading and place that pending trade. If we get up there, we might not get up there. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but a little bit of a pop up, me get up into here. But uh, I would be, well, if I get stopped at 110, 110, so be it. Trade was wrong. But I think, uh, you know, this is a bit of shortcoming. Might see a bit of a bounce um, and I'll be selling into it. But the point I want to stress here more than anything, this is just, you only with me here for 20 minutes, half an hour today on this. But you should be, using one of these every time. You can download this in the trading lab if you haven't already done so. You can move it all around the screen and do whatever you like with it, put it in the percentage. You can change this, by the way. You can change this to the fixed amount. If you only want to risk $15 or $20 or $100, you can change that as well. Or you can do a fixed lot amount as well. That works it all out for you. Very, very versatile. I like to use percentage risk. Um, and on this account, I only use maximum 0.5% risk on this stream account. Um, uh, which is that? Which is there? But it's a great tool. You can minimise it if you're not using it. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, what else is going on? We are seeing. Uh, we're seeing. Oh, what a! I don't know. Maybe we should change this non-farm payroll to um, Bojo speech. I mean, it seems to be more volatile. Or well, maybe we should just do a live stream continuously. 24 hours a day for when tre uh, t uh, Trump tweets, because it seems to be more volatile now than the, the non-farm payrolls that are coming out. Um, this is the third non-farm payroll now in the bounce. We haven't really seen a move. Gosh, we've seen a... We've seen a 15-pip move in the euro dollar, the most actively traded currency pair on the planet. Um, but yeah, short covering, pushing the dollar slightly higher. What else is going on? Just having a look here, it's a quick scan around. What's going on here? So pound today has been uh, pretty flat. I, I understand from the um, from the news wise here that uh, they will be looking for a no deal extension. If there's a no deal, they will look for an extension, which is gonna be, it's not bad for the pound, is it? You know, avoids that cliff edge. Not bad for the pound, which is why 
you know, which, which is why the um, well, the, the well, the, that's the result of the uh, of the Parliament basically forcing forcing uh, the hand. They are basically saying that they won't put a deal through, and uh, now they're going to have to be forced into asking for an extension, which is a bit uh, bit. Uh, Bit uh, disappointing, I think. Cats are looking quite, quite strong at the moment, and uh, the commodity currencies are looking rather bid as well. Just having a quick look at the stock market. The stock markets have basically been, uh, as I said, under a bit of turmoil. Um, so the stocks are having a bit of a recovery. I'm pleased about that for other reasons. Um, but um, you saw that big, big move, you know, 1,200 points on the on the Dow. Uh, having a bit of a recovery at the moment. But uh, that non-farm payroll is a bit of a non-event, really. I know what you guys are crying out for. Where's the where's the prizes? Um, Bojo was the best it I have got news for you. PM is a joke. Right. Um, and gold is not doing anything today. Gold's flat. Just back to the... Uh, Back to the euro dollar. We're not going to get that trade away, I don't think. I'll just leave it there on the screen for now. Um, well on VJ got some profits there. The one hundred seven handle um, on the uh, on the dollar yen. Uh, B yes, the dollar thirty. Uh, yeah. The S uh, Wall Street has S and P five hundred moved. The um, Dow Jones has moved. They'll all be moving big time. Right. Okay. So this time um, of the month, what well, you've all been waiting for? You know, it's great to see three hundred and ninety four people in the room today. Um, in our members room. Normally we're averaging around 250, so it's great to see all the visitors come in that don't come in all day long. Sorry I've had so many technical issues today. I literally did have a blue screen 10 minutes before I came on, which is a bit of a concern. Um, and I think it could be this operating software, uh, broadcasting software that I've just updated. They send you these updates. I've always relaxed and do it. I updated it. It's been problematic ever since. Um, um, yeah, we'll come to the Pound Aussie shortly. Pound Aussie. Yep. Yeah, we'll look at that for you. Um so it's great to see so many people in the room. This room doesn't exist just because of me and Mark and, and Max. You know, um, the room exists because of the community that we've created here. Um, so it's just like the time of the month that I like to take a step back and just say thank you to the contributors um, and the room participants over the past month. It really has been um it's been a great month we've seen a whole new bunch of people coming in as well we've seen a whole great some great feedback as well some great reviews going out there as well which we always like to see the reviews it really does help us but it's a chance for us to give back um uh, to the community um so what we do we give away three prizes courtesy of ic markets that are going to be on the phone um after this i'm think i'm thinking um but courtesy of ic markets we're going to be um uh, giving away three prizes three cash prizes this will go straight into your trading account um, and uh, you can withdraw it immediately if you wish to. It's no strings attached, none of these ones where you've got to trade a certain amount or anything like that. Uh, you can literally withdraw it immediately. Um, and um, the prizes go for the best room contributor and the best trade signal provider. Uh, so first of all, I want to say uh, to the trade signal provider, um, we've been watching you. Uh, this vote goes out myself, Mark and Max. We all vote. Um, and the uh, the best room provider this month was unanimous, quite frankly. Um, I, th I get the impression that you're, you're, you're reasonably new to trading, novice. Hopefully I'm right. I'm not insulting you there, but um, you've not, you know, you've been asking questions. You've been helping others as well. So this has been invaluable to the members in the room. So I'd like to say a big, big thank you. $500 going to the best room contributor for the month of September goes to... And let me take that down. Let me just uh, one moment. So it's uh, it goes to uh, there. We go.
Uh, well, that is not working either. There's something definitely going on here. Just bear with me a second. This was all working just before the... the uh, <laughs> it's that joke, isn't it? Um, Congratulations, congratulations to Muhim. So well done to you with $500 uh, winning it today around to you. Okay, so we've got the uh, uh, Okay, so that's the best uh, room could do. Congratulations to Mohsin. Uh, congratulations, you have done a stellar effort uh, this month. So I really appreciate um, everything that you have done. Uh, I just had a ping there on the phone, which I thought was uh, getting active, uh, getting executed on the on the. Trump there reacting to the numbers unemployment rate at three point five percent, dropping to a fifty year low. Trump's just mentioned a 50-year low for the unemployment rate. That's what he likes about that. Right, okay, so the best trade signal contributor um, for the month of September. I don't know how many want, uh, if anyone wants to vote on this in the room. We have decided it, but uh, the, um, the, uh, this was a unanimous decision as well. This guy has been uh, relentless in his trade signals uh, this month. So we'd like to thank you for that. Um, and the prize will go to this month. If this works, it does. If it doesn't, I'll have to reinstall it again. It goes to. Okay, congratulations to Jay. I'm not sure if he's in the room at the moment, if he's chatting away, or maybe he's just putting up another trade signal. Gosh, who knows? Um, but he's been relentless in his trade signals, and uh, I think everyone will say it's uh, well appreciated um, by all of us here. At the, and we've been following them as well. It looks as though you've been having um, a good run as well. I mean, I'm sure you're. Um, uh, you, I'm sure you put up the uh, the the the. Um, the uh, the results to date, but I'm just looking here. I mean, for those of you that are not in the room all the time, I mean, this is basically the um, uh, the type of uh, trade signals that's going out there. Let me just pull up your your screen. This is Jay's contribution. Okay, uh, so these signals um, that he's putting out, it's pretty much um, uh, pretty much. You know, relentless. Um, and this is just in this month alone. In fact, the last month you did some good uh, results there as well, or this month. So great trade signals. Uh, I know there's a big following for you as well, so we appreciate that. Keep up the good work. Keep it on the site here, of course. Um, we uh, we like you to stay here and, and provide these. And this is a good um, a good uh, you know segue into what I'll say. It doesn't matter what level of experience you've got. It really doesn't. Trade signals are there for everyone to contribute We're and to changed. benefit from. And, you know, the good thing about putting up a trade signal, not only do you get sort of um, uh, other members in the room commenting on your own trades, your own analysis to get feedback as well, because feedback is very, very important uh, when you're trading. Um, not only is it important for that, um, 
but also it's important to um, you know to uh, you know, to give back to the community because obviously we're all sitting here. You know, we've got four hundred people in the room at the moment. There's about you know there's uh, you know, maybe twenty or thirty that are actively in the room doing trade signals. It's a good time to help to give back as well because that's what we're all here for. It's a, it's a community. So thank you to all those that have contributed trade signals uh, for last month and um, and keep up the good work. It's a good opportunity for you to win five hundred dollars. Doesn't matter what level you're at. Doesn't matter if you're new to trading you've only been trading for two months you can say just a rookie trader i'm interested here's my view here's my little strategy i'm testing you know um and you know because everyone benefits from that as well it's uh, always nice to see what other people are doing so it's an important part of the site you know it's called trade signals for heaven's sake um forex signals for heaven's sake so um it's important that um you know you, you understand that anyone can win this competition and indeed you can win it next month as well. Just because you've won it one month doesn't mean you can't win it the next month. Could be your little sideline, just being a trades provider, signal provider, nice little income every, um, nice little side income every uh, every every four weeks. Right, okay, um, just um, that going on. What's going on in the markets? Nothing going on at all. Um, I'm thinking now that the screen is frozen, but it's not. It's just basically nothing going on in the forex market. So um, I will um, move, I guess, swiftly on to the main event. For the main event for the auditors in the room that don't want to sit there and post trade signals every day, we also give away a random raffle every month. Okay, and this goes to um, anyone that's been, or it's a raffle, of course, but it goes to anyone that's been registered. If you want to register um, for next month, you can do so. You just go to the award section and follow the instructions on there, and you will be able to um, get yourself uh, registered for the next month. This is completely random, so I haven't got myself a nice groovy, uh, groovy um, uh, presentation. Uh, slide to um, to show you. It's basically uh, going to be done automated uh, automatically by the uh, by the system here. I hope, but knowing how things are going today, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to hit, you know, the pick a winner, and I just know it's going to pick me as a winner. I mean, uh, how odd will that be? You know, um, it's just gonna. It's just uh, uncanny that that's going to happen, isn't it? Um, Right, so the award section. This is, uh, let me close that down there. Uh, here we go for the awards. This is really slow, gosh. Uh, last month, the uh, winner was uh, this chap here. Can't remember who that was now. Right, we're going to launch the raffle. I picked this winner. You'll see your name scrolling through. Um, Slow it down if you don't believe it. If you don't believe your name's in there, you can slow it down, and I'm sure you'll find your name in there. Um, if I do win it, well, I'm apologised for that. It's just been a technical, problematic day all day today. If it's my wife that wins or one of my kids, I'm sorry about that as well. You know, that's what happens with technology these days. Um, so let's just see who it is. Let's hopefully, if not me, there's at least someone we recognise. Uh, okay, raffle building. Oh, they are, Annie. Yeah, that's my brother. That's my sister. That's my that's my kids. That's my wife. Yep, yeah, that's my dog. Oh, Charlie, the dog's in there as well. Lovely. We're all there. Excellent. Here we go. And it goes to. Gosh, got a few names in there now. Never heard of him. C fan e echo ninety. There you go. Congratulations to. Uh, C fan, um, EAC 90. Congratulations to you. That's $500 just for registering your name here on your on the photo signals. If you're not registered, get yourself registered for next month. It's completely um, uh, random, so you've got every chance. Uh, there's not as many as you saw there. Maybe there's 100 names in there. Not bad. Um, you know, so good, uh, good, uh, uh, you know, probability there. One in 100 chance of winning $500. I'll take that all day long for free. Who knows what's uh, what's uh, um, ahead? So we'll have to award those straight after the stream, and you'll be able to claim that prize within the next uh, couple of hours, I guess, or maybe we to do it on Monday once we get all the admin sorted out. Um, congratulations! Did he say? Is he is he in the room at the moment? Uh, doesn't look like he's in the room at the moment. Okay, all right. Someone mentioned um, pound Aussie. Uh, let's have a look at Pound Aussie for you, see what is going on there. Pound Aussie, okay, well, firstly, I can see immediately here, this Pound Aussie, uh, well, if you remember what's been happening this week with the Australian dollar, Australian had their rate decision uh, midweek, 
and they cut the interest rates by a quarter of a percentage point and the market was maybe not expecting it i was certainly expecting it that some of the analysts were expecting it but the market got wind that the rba are going to move rates again yeah because Lowe said if they need to they will move rates again i mean what central bank doesn't say well, what central bank does say, we're cutting rates, by the way, now we're going to move rates up afterwards. They all say that. Um, but the market got wind that this is basically bad for the Aussie. So the Aussie dollar has smacked um, out, of the, out of the park. Uh, since then, the Australian dollar has come into a bit of strength as the market basically realises it's not doom and gloom. All central banks are cutting interest rates at the moment. Um, and now the, dollar, uh, the, the, now the Aussie dollar is recovering a little bit. Pound has been pr pretty, um, well, pound's a little bit weaker today, um, as you know, but this is now coming into big, big support zone here at the moment. For me, the trade is only to the downside. Um, you know, I'm not a, uh, a big fan of selling the pound at the moment. Um, however, the chances of a deal in Brexit do seem now sort of like further down the line. Now they've agreed that they're going to extend, um, you know, the pound's the pound excitement that we saw early on with Brexit, that's fading. So pound is coming back now um, and Aussie is gaining strength. as You saw that on the momentum meter. So we're coming into this level. For me, the way I want to play that uh, would be to see. I don't know what's below here. No one knows. But it's, uh, you know, but it is an important level, OK, um, around the 82 level. So I'd want to see a break of the 82 back to the 82 and then take this back down. It could easily get back down to 80 and a half. So bias to the downside. Um, you know, you've got, uh, you've got the strength of the Australian dollar. You've got the weakness of the pound. As we settle into another three-month extension for the pound, um, this could see um, continuations. Aussie pound, I would say, take to the downside um, for me. Um, another worthy winner says uh, Fire Sword. Um, uh, thought JC, yes, thought you remember. I thought you remember that as well. Okay, what else is going on? Let's have a quick look. Um the uh, the euro dollar is not moving. Dollar yen is not moving. So we're just going to go back to look at those uh, screens now. Uh, dollar yen. Okay, that's bounced into this big level. Okay, one oh seven ten. This is a big level on the dollar yen. Dollar is pushing up. Uh, the yen is pulling back. This is just moving on down now. Okay, we're at that level that I said we should get to. I'm going to pull my pending order. We've um, uh, just going to pull that for now. Okay, but the uh, 109.25 is the level that you want to be looking at. We're basically here now. A big pardon, just 109.63. 109.25 was the level um, that um, we should be uh, concerned about. But this is just fading off it as it goes. Uh, but I pulled that pending order. I want to keep that. Um, keep that down as a, as a non-farm payroll that didn't do very much. Right. Okay, folks, um, I am going to leave that there. CAD likes it. Uh, Pound doesn't like it. Yen's coming off its perch as well. Uh, I uh, have to apologize for all the technical issues we've had today. It shows you that it's live. Um, shows you that... Uh, that uh, even I can have a bad day, and I'm not a bad day in the uh, in the markets, but a bad day on the screens. Uh, Aussie yen, what's happening to the Aussie yen? Aussie yen. Well, if you're a trend continuation trader, you know this is a nice little pullback you're seeing in here. I would say you know you've got uh, you know, you've got this this zone coming in at one. Uh, sorry, seventy two fifty. Another twelve pips or so. I think this is going to find resistance. I would be inclined against the yen, although the Aussie is showing a bit of strength, inclined against the yen to uh, say that will be about the sum of it. And I would be more inclined to say the trend is going to continue to the downside on Aussie yen. Um, the yen's just having a bit of a reprieve because of those not so bad numbers, I would guess. Um, uh are we supposed to use lmfx or ic in i'm new uh the uh you can use whoever you like um manu um no we're not forcing you to use anyone this competition is sponsored by ic markets um you know, the prize giving is sponsored by them but uh, you don't have to use ic markets you can use whoever you wish um uh but uh, is the uj to the upside i wouldn't be buying uj here i think um i think you can i wouldn't buy it here i think you know as a trader Certainly what I've learned over the years is that, uh, you know, there's plenty of opportunities to trade. You know, you want to be 
on the higher probability trades. And a high probability trade, you know, I'd say that you've most probably missed this little boat now for now intraday. Um, and, you know, we're coming into big resistance. So I don't think for the afternoon now you're going to see a big follow on through on the dollar. I think it's going to stagnate and I think you're going to um, possibly see uh, this level hold for now. So I wouldn't be buying it here for myself personally. All right, folks, I'm going to get off this before the whole bloke machine blows up here. Um, and um, we'll uh, do it all again um, on Monday. So if you're around Monday, I won't be on for the wrap this afternoon. I've got to hit the motorway in a minute. I'm going up north. Um, where there's stopped raining, that's good. Um, so I'm going to be uh, heading up to, uh, up to Stratford, actually. Stratford on even. Um, but um, if uh, you're around, I'll see you on Monday. We will uh, start the week again. Remember, we stream live uh, five times a day, sometimes six times a day, uh, doing uh, better analysis. Normally everything works, isn't it? Right, folks, thanks for tuning in. Have a good weekend if you're tuning out now from Australia. If you're staying uh, in the uh, in the markets for the rest of the trading day in the UK and the and US, uh, trade safe. See you all on Monday. Good luck.